Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Bill Allen, a real estate investor from Nashville, Tennessee, and this is Seven Figure Flipping Q&A. All right, I got the first question here. It says, what is the best method for seller marketing? So direct to seller marketing. What's the best method? I get this all the time. Everybody wants the silver bullet. Go do this. You'll make the most money if you do this. Um, here's my answer for it. And I think in all my experience over the last like six, seven years of doing a ton of direct to seller marketing, we've done over 800 deals at this point in my career and 790 of those. We've only done 10 from the MLS. All the rest have come from seller marketing. So hopefully that give you some confidence that I know what I'm talking about. Um, the best method for seller marketing, direct to seller marketing is the one that you can consistently do over and over and over again, okay? And the one that you can you can handle. So there's time or money, right? If you have a ton of time, your best and not a lot of money, then your best direct to seller method might be driving around, looking for houses and sending them postcards or letters or even knocking on their door and talking to them. It might be networking where you don't have to spend a lot of money, but you have to also like to network so you consistently do it. It's about repetition. All marketing is consistently doing the actions that it takes. If it's um, direct mail and you're gonna pull a big list, and send out postcards over and over. You have to have the budget and the structure and the process and the system to just send them over and over and over again strategically. If it's online marketing and, and pay-per-click, there are lots of different ways to do it, but you have to consistently do it. You have to have the budget, you have to structure it, and you have to consistently make sure that your ads are up online over and over and over again that people can click. So the best direct-to-seller marketing technique is the one that you can consistently do. And we will continue on this channel to go over all the different marketing techniques, all the different uh, types of marketing that you can do. What's, what's good if you have a lot of money? What's good if you don't have a lot of money? What's good if you have a lot of time and, and if you don't have a lot of time? Um, I wrote a book called The Seven Figure Flipping Underground. You can go to 7ffbook.com and grab it. It'll probably be in the description. It's free. All you got to do is pay for shipping and it's got every single channel in there and, and structured and talked about in more detail. But what I'll tell you right now to answer that question for you, the person that asked, asked it is the one that you can consistently do over and over and over again and that you can handle the inbound lead structure. So if there's going to be a lot of inbound leads, a lot of people calling you, you've got to be able to answer the phone. If you're doing online marketing, pay-per-click consistently, you've got to be able to get to that lead really, really fast because you're paying a lot of money for it and they're going to click on the next one and the next one and the next one if you don't answer. How many times do you call a plumber when you got an emergency and when they don't answer, what do you do? You don't leave a message, you just call the next plumber. So consistently do and be able to handle the inbound leads. That's my answer. I hope it helps. All right, the next question. Do you use a real estate agent when you're selling your house or do you list it yourself? So it sounds like if th this person is flipping a house, do I list it myself or do I use an agent to, um, to sell it? If you're asking this question, you are probably a real estate agent, but it sounds like you're probably pretty new. So you might not be like a mega agent or have somebody on your team that can list it or sell it. So you're wondering, should I get my license to sell it? If I just got my license, is it better if I sell it or is it better if a bigger agent in my town sells my properties? Um, lots of different things that I want to talk about here. Number one, um, if you, in the beginning, what I did was I listed my own properties um, some of the time. And what I found was I didn't have time for that. Like I went out and got my license when I started flipping houses. I thought it was going to be a good idea for me to do that. Uh, it got me access to MLS. It allowed me to get into the houses very quickly. I didn't have to wait on somebody else. Those were the good things. The bad things were I was listing a house or two and I also was helping other people buy houses and potentially list their houses. I didn't like doing that. It was a waste of my time. I hardly made any money. It took a lot of time. It was a, a lot of effort. It was a pain in the butt. And I should have been going out to find more houses or find more contractors or find more money to flip. So um, I would say don't waste your time listing your own houses unless you have a team, you're structured that way. It's part of what you already do. You're the best in the world at it. And it's not a lot of work for you and you can continue to find your next properties. But if you have to learn all the intricacies, the ins and outs, how to list on the MLS, the different uh, disclosures and things like, like let somebody else handle that. And what you could do is if you're, you're thinking about flipping at a higher volume, what we did was we negotiated our, our listing rate down because we were going to give them volume and also refer them some of our off-market leads. And what we did was we got an agent to list our properties at 1%. Their fee was 1%. The, um, in, in Pensacola, it was about 5%, 2 .5 per side. But we got that agent to list our properties at 1% and 2 .5 to the agent that brought the, um, the buyer. So we would only be about 3.5%. So that was a win-win. 
We didn't have to list our, our properties. So I would encourage you, if you're just getting started, like focus on the thing that you do really, really well and let somebody else do the thing that they do really, really well. So find a great agent that can go out there and get more money for your house than you could. They can uh, network with realtors, get the, do all the marketing, get the property out there in front of as many people as possible and let them earn their commission and make you more money. And you go out and do the thing that you're awesome at. So that's my recommendation. I would say it kind of depends. If you're already a mega agent, you do this stuff, you're probably not asking this question, but it, it could make sense for somebody on your team to list it. I know a lot of people that do that, but if you're just getting started and you're, you're like, should I just get my license so I can also list my own properties? Like just become really, really good at what you do, make a ton of money there and let another professional come in and help you. That's my advice. All right. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me. I know your time is the most valuable thing that you have. So the fact that you spend it on our YouTube channel and hung out with me and over this Q&A series, I really appreciate it. We're going to have lots more videos like this. So make sure that you subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought about this. If there's a question that you have, if there's something else that we can do for you or answer, um, let us know. And then also follow us on social media, any of the other platforms, uh, the Seven Figure Flipping Podcast, all the other places you can find us. But before you go, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. You'll get alerts of other Q&A series. We're doing this on a regular basis. And if you have a question, we want to answer it. In the comments, in the, description, or in the description here, there is a link where you can ask questions for us to answer. So these questions I was answering today, somebody posted them in there. I answered them directly. Yours could be next. Make sure you ask us, who knows? You might be the only person who does, so we'll be answering your question on the next show. See ya.